The Tesla Bot Optimus is the most worthwhile humanoid robot to purchase at the present moment. And there are at least four reasons why you should reserve it as soon as the program launches. Its versatility, cheap price, cost effectiveness, and home-based business support will bring you significant earnings of up to thousands of dollars per month with a humanoid robot. This might raise some doubts, but we'll explain shortly everything that demonstrates that owning it is a decision you'll never regret. The first reason is its most attractive pricing in the market to attract a large number of orders. We estimate somewhere around 3 to 4 million surpassing the demand for the Cybertruck. Elon Musk has confirmed at least twice that its price will be only around 20,000 or even lower. The first time being at the AI Day 2022 event where he said, it, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring it so, directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. And most recently, as Tesla is expanding its advertising campaign for their robot ahead of its launch, Elon Musk continues to share on X that complexity per mass unit is much higher with humanoid robots, but I still think it ends up costing less than half a car. Therefore, with two instances hitting at Optimus's price dropping solo, there's no reason for Tesla to release a robot at an excessively high price point that would turn customers away. From some perspectives, we can believe that Tesla has mastered cost control at present, which is why Musk can confidently make such statements. Considering that Tesla's most popular car currently, the Model Y, has a starting price of $43,990 in the US, the CEO seems to be implying a price range between $20,000 to $25,000 for Optimus. To illustrate further about the pricing of the Tesla bot and ensure fairness, we can reference some other humanoid robot models currently on the market and soon to be released. Among these, the most notable are two lines of robots known for their speed and high ratings. Boston Dynamics' is Atlas and Unitree H1, both of which are being sold at a price point of around $150,000. Next is the Kepler 4Runner, a version quite similar to the Tesla bot and predicted to be priced at around $30,000 when it launches later this year. Additionally, there are other models like NVIDIA's Groot or Figure AI, which are expected to have much bigger price points compared to the mentioned products. The shocking revelations don't stop there. Musk also added on X that the price of the Optimus robot will be less over time. It's hard to imagine, but we still have faith that the Tesla bot could potentially be sold for under $20,000 in the coming years. Prices like $17,000 or even $15,000 are entirely feasible, but of course it may take years, even decades, for Elon Musk to achieve this. Why will Tesla Bot keep its $20,000 price point? On X, Sam Chorus's account wondered, a humanoid robot is less than a tenth of the weight of a car? Can the manufacturing ramp be ten times that of a vehicle? Does that even matter? Seems like the constraint's going to be a software capability, not manufacturing capability. In response to this comment shared by Musk, he essentially expressed that the actual complexity of producing the Tesla bot is much higher than that of Tesla's EV. This implies that creating the Tesla bot will be challenging and will require more time. But this isn't the core issue driving Tesla to increase the price of their robot. Firstly, Tesla already has the infrastructure and materials readily available to serve its robot. And they are not overly constrained by software and robot processing units because, as you know, Tesla is famous for its FSD, Autopilot, Dojo chip, along with Elon's vast knowledge of artificial intelligence. They also don't have to worry too much about battery packs for Optimus because not only LFP packs but also 4680 packs are being produced at a surplus rate for EVs and other devices. The truth is, if Tesla is facing any difficulty currently, it's simply the shortage of engineers staffing related to Optimus' production with about 61 positions unfilled. It's easy to say that the lingering difficulty in Optimus production isn't as unimaginable as we think, and $20,000 is not too hard to commit to. Therefore, the attractive pricing is the first reason why buying Optimus is a sensible choice. So, why will Tesla Bot be a multi-purpose homemaker? Because I think basically everyone would want one, and, and maybe people would want more than one, which means the actual demand for, for something like Optimus Musk has said that everyone will want to have one, even more than one, to talk about the efficiency it brings, whether they're factory staff or homemakers. Let's talk about the homemaker first, because we believe this will be the main direction that Elon Musk will invest more in for his robots. 
You know, nobody would be foolish enough to buy a robot that can only perform tasks inside a factory. In the recent video, the Tesla bot was able to fold his shirt in 30 seconds with smooth movements. After watching that video, we imagined that if Optimus could just sit at home folding clothes and then put them away in the closet, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? You could comfortably sit on the sofa and enjoy a complete movie during that time. That's exactly what Tesla's aiming for and what customers need. Unlike human labor, a standard robot can operate continuously throughout the day without the need for rest or breaks. Tesla has integrated a 52-volt, 2.3-kilowatt-hour battery pack into Optimus Gen 1, allowing it to function continuously without frequent recharging. Although information about upgrading the battery pack in the Gen 2 version has not yet been confirmed, it may not be necessary due to the reduced weight of Optimus Gen 2, which is now 138 pounds compared to Gen 1's 160 pounds. Therefore, maintaining the 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack seems reasonable. And don't forget, it can carry objects weighing up to 45 pounds. With such a large capacity, the tasks that the Tesla Optimus robot can perform as a homemaker are not just limited to housekeeping and simple physical tasks. With its flexible hands integrated with 11 degrees of freedom, Optimus is not only a regular household helper, but also a versatile assistant in every aspect of daily life. Cleaning up's no longer a burden with Optimus. It not only effortlessly handles cleaning tools, but also autonomously controls vacuum cleaners, saving you time and effort. Especially, you don't have to worry about making breakfast early, as Optimus can quickly and easily prepare sandwiches. With its learning and improvement capabilities after each use, it also automatically cleans up after cooking, ensuring your living space is always tidy and clean. However, Optimus's capabilities are not limited to just household chores. It can also do agricultural tasks, things like pruning, water, even fertilizing. Moreover, as promised earlier, Elon Musk believes that Optimus can undertake complex manual tasks such as threading a needle, something even humans find challenging. Furthermore, educational features are also an important aspect of Optimus. Its ability to read books to children, assist them with their studies, and convey information accurately and quickly make it a reliable teacher for the whole family. For the elderly, Optimus is not only an aid in mobility, eating, and bathing, but can also assist in managing conditions like Alzheimer's, helping him remember important things and reminded to take medication on time. Additionally, with integrated knowledge and repair skills, Optimus can help you address small everyday issues like fixing light bulbs, electrical outlets, or even alerting you to hazards such as electrical leaks, gas leaks, or fires. This effectively and safely protects your family from danger. Therefore, we believe that that $20,000 is well worth for what it offers. Also in the past, in an essay for China Cyberspace magazine, Mr. Musk wrote that Tesla bots are initially positioned to replace people in repetitive, boring, and dangerous tasks. But the vision is for them to serve millions of households, such as cooking, mowing lawns, and caring for the elderly. Of course, these are just the features that we commonly see integrated into a humanoid robot. And currently, we dare to affirm that the Tesla bot cannot yet perform all these functions because it hasn't truly reached the final steps related to benefits. We hope that with the promise of delivering a few units by 2025, we will truly know what roles Tesla bot can play in the real world. If the Tesla bot can achieve all those benefits mentioned above, significant savings await you. Now, let's explore the third reason you can't miss it. Cost-saving features. So how does Tesla bot save money? It's not uncommon to say that the Optimus is a money-saving machine if it can do a variety of tasks in your home. Before providing evidence that Optimus will be a money saver, please answer our question by leaving a comment. The question is, if you have between $25,000 and $30,000, would you prefer to own a Tesla bot or a Tesla Model 2 for $25,000? We think this might be a hard question to answer. To be honest, from a customer's perspective, we'd prioritize the Tesla bot over purchasing Tesla EVs like the Model Y, Model 3, or even the next-gen EV Model 2. The reason is straightforward. If the Tesla bot can efficiently operate to truly help us save money, then why shouldn't we choose it? In the video where Optimus folds clothes, imagine if it were done in a different setting instead of being put away in a closet. How crazy would that be? For instance, the large quantity of clothes that the Optimus robot folds in the store could be packaged by itself into boxes and delivered by a delivery person. You wouldn't need to worry about hiring someone to pack them or the monthly salary you'd have to pay them. It would be highly beneficial if we could simply purchase Optimus and have it perform money-making tasks such as delivery and manufacturing, thus saving a considerable amount of money. This would provide us with the funds to continue buying more units of Optimus, maximizing our return on investment. In that way, the robots would essentially pay for themselves, allowing me to finally get that new Tesla EV. 
That's why we view buying robots up front as the clear choice. What do you think about this crazy convenience? According to some analyses we've conducted, potential cost saving from using Tesla bot could reach up to $83,000 per year, with a payback period of just 3.7 years. This makes it an attractive investment for large households, commercial enterprises, or factories. It's worth noting that the biggest advantage of the robot lies in its ability to work 7,000 hours per year, providing a significant edge over human labor. With the ability to perform tasks like a human, at a cost of only $5 per hour, the Tesla bot not only completes tasks, but also operates three times faster than a human and requires minimal downtime. Just about two weeks for maintenance and replacement of necessary parts. Over a span of 10 years, estimated cost savings could reach up to $205,166. In a larger scenario with a job value of $7.50 per hour, cost savings would increase to $307,749 over a span of 10 years. For higher paying jobs, such as those with a rate of $40 per hour, estimated cost savings would rise to $820,665 within the same time frame. This is not only an economic advancement, but also a significant step towards optimizing efficiency and finances for businesses. What do you think about this level of savings? We believe that the Tesla bot is not only a money-saving machine, but it also comes with the potential for business opportunities for you under the guise of labor. Workers will surely generate labor force, and from labor force always comes valuable products exchangeable for cash. As Tesla has shared about the initial mission of the Optimus robot, it is designed to perform repetitive tasks with high precision, fast speed, and tirelessness. This helps to liberate humans from labor-intensive, dangerous, or mundane tasks, allowing them to focus on jobs requiring creativity, skills, and higher-level strategic thinking. Consequently, the overall efficiency and productivity of the business will be significantly enhanced. The truth is, Tesla robots will indeed be trained to create more Tesla robots. The initial robots will be utilized within Tesla's factory space. Training neural networks and having thousands of hours of training data is a time-consuming process to learn and execute various tasks. So, how can the Tesla bot save costs for Tesla's factory? Tesla's Optimus robot surpasses humans in many aspects, as it operates tirelessly 24-7 without fatigue, eliminates human errors, ensures consistent accuracy in tasks, minimizes workplace accidents by handling dangerous tasks, and adapts to various roles in manufacturing with advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. Deploying it helps achieve significant long-term cost savings, enhances overall efficiency, and provides scalability in production unlike human labor. With the Optimus robot, Tesla can expand its manufacturing, meet the increasing demand for its vehicles, and potentially surpass the goal of 20 million vehicles by 2030. The reality is that Tesla's humanoid robots will need to be a part of the workforce, and a competitive enterprise will need to leverage the significant cost-saving benefits that Tesla's humanoid robots will bring. Here's what Theo Cernbacher said. The CEOs of big companies that employ a lot of workers should be calling Elon Musk right now and paying a lot of money to be first in line to receive Tesla's Optimus robot. If they're not first in line, they could be waiting for years and watching as their competition deploys humanoid robots massively undercutting them. He emphasizes that businesses that adopt Tesla's robots early will have many superior benefits compared to competitors delaying the integration of this technology. It will happen soon. We believe that Tesla's humanoid robots will inevitably become part of the assembly lines at Tesla and other companies. The reality is, at this point, Tesla's striving to optimize the tasks it can perform to become more diversified. In the near future, Elon Musk will push for maximum utilization of AI technology and advancements in self-driving and data processing to continue to improve the performance of the Optimus robot. By integrating the FSD, that's full self-driving, and autopilot systems, along with the Dojo chip, he'll elevate the self-driving capabilities and artificial intelligence of Optimus to a new level, surpassing everything currently available on the market. Not stopping there, Musk will also focus on improving the battery performance in electric motors of Optimus, making it a smarter and more durable solution for everyone's needs. With an expected price range of $20,000 to $25,000, he hopes that Optimus will become a popular choice for households and businesses alike. With this vision, Tesla's almost ready to introduce a breakthrough product not only in the field of self-driving cars, but also in the robotics industry. Elon Musk and his team have demonstrated that they continuously seek opportunities to reshape the future with innovative ideas and relentless ambition. 
This is why Musk is confident that Optimus will capture the majority of Tesla's long-term value. Above all, with a range of features and diverse capabilities, the Tesla Optimus robot is not just an ordinary household helper, but also an indispensable part of every household, providing convenience and safety for daily life. Although there are still limitations and untapped potentials, it can't be denied that the development of the Tesla bot will bring significant benefits to humanity in the near future. So, what do you think about the utilities and features coming from Tesla robots? And what do you look forward to most from this technology? We want to hear your thoughts. An incredible development occurred when Elon Musk hinted at a plan to turn a science fiction concept into reality, intertwining it with humanity's existence. This involves replacing the limbs of individuals who have unfortunately lost a part of their body, akin to how Mr. Beast has generously funded treatments for visually impaired patients. How could Elon Musk accomplish such a feat? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. In a recent post where Elon Musk responded to the idea of controlling Optimus with Neuralink, he revealed that Optimus limbs replacing lost human limbs could ultimately be controlled with superhuman dexterity by an implanted Neuralink. This inadvertently sparked curiosity among fans as well as patient hopeful for a not-so-distant future. Furthermore, it gained momentum after Neuralink disclosed detailed information about the successful first human trial. I'm obviously the first person with the Neuralink implant. Elon Musk announced that his company Neuralink successfully implanted a computer chip into a human brain for the first time. And now we've heard from the patient himself. The appearance of Nolan Arbaugh, a 29-year-old man living in Arizona, marked a significant moment. He became quadriplegic after a car incident that damaged his C4 and C5 vertebrae, leaving him unable to move. However, the footage introducing Nolan Arbaugh to the world by Neuralink, alongside previously disclosed scenes of playing chess, also featured him playing Mario Kart with his father without physically moving his hands. This leads us to a bold idea. Neuralink could potentially achieve the capability of controlling replacement limbs in humans, while Optimus is gradually emerging in the market. Why do Optimus limbs have the ability to replace lost human limbs? Tesla is actively seeking a vast workforce for its upcoming plan to mass-produce Tesla bots, aiming to achieve human-like steps in functionality. However, this endeavor is not as straightforward as one might think. Humans start with the ability to crawl as babies, then take their first steps under the watchful eyes of parents, gradually improving their walking speed over time as their joints develop. Similarly, robots require gradual increases in speed to avoid significant impacts on their gait and balance due to insufficient development in their motion systems. This demands intricate interactions of factors including mechanical articulations, sensory systems, and transmission mechanisms. Initially, Tesla has improved the speed of the Tesla bot, boasting a 30% increase over its initial Bumblebee version. Subsequently, another 30% enhancement has been declared. It's understandable that Optimus is growing up, seemingly approaching the movement speed threshold of an adult. On average, a healthy adult can move at a speed of 3 miles per hour, making it easy to infer that Optimus's current speed is 1.8 miles per hour. To enhance the replacement capability for one or both legs, Tesla needs to improve the flexibility of the transmission system in the joints. Currently, Tesla's Optimus is equipped with 12 seamlessly integrated electric drive units in its leg joints, providing superior flexibility and power during movement. Additionally, there are 12 drive units in each arm and hand. The flexible control system enables Optimus to execute various movements, from basic steps to agile actions such as running, jumping, and efficiently lifting heavy objects. One surprising reason why Optimus's limbs are the most suitable choice is that they operate using electric drive units, which do not produce any uncomfortable noise that would make patients feel like a machine. Some famous robot models we see today still utilize hydraulic systems to physically impact joints, enhancing flexibility and strength in arms and legs. However, the drawback is the need for regular maintenance, as leaks in the hydraulic fluid can lead to continued loss of control of our patient's limbs. Internally designed electric drive systems offer higher durability. 
Tesla's developed its own drive unit for the bot, utilizing three types of rotary drive units and three types of linear drive units. If you wonder why Tesla doesn't use the standardized linear drive units like Fire Jelly, it's because they have certain limitations. This means they had to develop their own system to make the robot lightweight, energy efficient, high energy density, and affordable. Tesla has stated their intention to retail Optimus for $20,000 each. This in itself is a demanding requirement for something that requires a complete drive system, robust hardware, numerous sensors, and a battery pack that operates many hours along with a sturdy frame to hold everything together. Therefore, Tesla's plan is to minimize the weight of the drive components as much as possible. In the new generation of Optimus, Elon Musk announced it to be 22 pounds lighter than the previous version, making it weigh approximately 138 pounds. For one human arm, it weighs an average of about 7 pounds under the most comfortable circumstances. With the weight figures Tesla provides for Optimus, we can estimate its arm accounts for 10% of the total weight, which is around 13 pounds for one arm. While an average person with a weight of about 160 pounds may have legs weighing approximately 25 pounds, Tesla needs to significantly improve this aspect to replace Optimus's limbs for humans. However, this can also be addressed quite simply with the material used for the robot's arms. It can retain its robust skeletal structure to ensure superior lifting capability, but could be enveloped by a thin layer of silicon instead of plastic. The advantages of using silicon in medical and daily life have been recognized for many years. It's been applied in medical devices such as implants, artificial heart valves, artificial joints, and medical instruments. With its high biocompatibility, silicon is non-toxic, non-allergenic, and non-reactive to the human body, making it safe for us to use in conjunction with humans. Furthermore, its waterproof properties will contribute to the increased durability of the arms or legs, and it can even withstand temperatures of several hundred degrees Celsius. Returning to the operation of the limbs, the linear drive units developed by Tesla have high specificity for a particular role, meaning they will not be extensively used for any applications other than robots. Their drive mechanisms utilize a planetary roller system, as termed by Tesla. Instead of traditional wound coil actuators in the center of the motor, Tesla opted for a brushless core motor design. This means that the ball screw design is highly efficient and consumes less power, but is also more expensive. And by utilizing a brushless electrical system, it means that the operation time will be significantly faster, allowing for specialized high drive modes to be controlled by software. So what is the secret behind the strength and effectiveness of Optimus's limbs? The linear drive units of Optimus are placed within weight-bearing and force-resisting joints such as the hips, knees, and ankles with a degree of freedom for back-and-forth movement. The first advantage of using linear drive joints is efficient space utilization. Unlike placing rotary drive units near joints, positioning linear drive units to the side maximizes space usage for longer, stronger drive units with significant force generation. The second advantage of using linear drive units is the self-locking ability through optimized designs of the screw transmission mechanism within the drive unit, as well as the ability to fix the posture in the lower body when not in motion, thereby eliminating power consumption, providing lower support and stable energy saving. In comparison, conventional designs using brake motors would require additional weight for brakes while providing relatively lower braking torque. The upper body employs linear drive units at the elbow joints, providing Optimus with strong and efficient arms. The parallel positioning of two linear drive units at each forearm is primarily designed to reduce the size of the wrist. Slim wrists offer two benefits, reducing noise between the joint and the target object, increasing flexibility and capturing motion plans, and reducing interference of the forearm with visual structure and visual feedback positioning, thereby enhancing control accuracy. Compared to the conventional linear drive units, regular servo decelerators usually require appropriate reduction ratios to increase the transparency of the drive mechanism, achieve greater torque through motor voltage, and obtain force through current loops. Their desired performance undoubtedly comes at the cost of high energy consumption. Conversely, linear drive units have a smoother operation of the transmission mechanism, albeit with lower transmission efficiency, but with significantly higher reduction ratios, allowing for greater thrust while being able to self-lock with an appropriate screw transmission mechanism design. Tesla has integrated force sensors into their linear drive units to directly detect the load on the screw shaft, thereby compensating for the lower transmission efficiency. The thrust in linear drive units utilizes an inverter planetary roller screw, where the term inverted refers to a fixed screw and a rotating nut. Many have compared Optimus to Boston Dynamics' Atlas, often dismissing Optimus for its slower movements. 
This deliberate outcome stems from Optimus's design philosophy focused on low power consumption, low cost, and high reliability. Whereas Atlas may exhibit superior performance but also has low reliability, prone to hydraulic leaks, tipping over, and expensive hydraulic assist valves. Additionally, Optimus's intricately dexterous and personified hands serving as the robot's ultimate personalized actuating agency are crucial. They are complex, challenging to design due to limited internal space, and require a large number of necessary degrees of freedom. In fact, the human hand has a total of 21 active degrees of freedom, not counting the two active and four passive degrees of freedom at the risk. And current technology still cannot fit 21 actuators within the palm of Optimus. So, how can Optimus's hands be made to function more similarly to those of humans? Tesla will approach this challenge with two technical directions. The first approach involves implementing guided controls, reducing the number of required drive units, but sacrificing flexibility. The other approach is to move the motors from the palm to the forearm, remotely controlling the hand joints through connecting cables. However, hands following this technical route suffer from reduced accuracy due to continuous cable pulling mechanisms, as well as overly complex and fragile drive mechanisms, limiting their practicality. Ultimately, to address this issue, Tesla Bot's dexterous hands have adopted a compromise between both approaches. Six drive units are implemented within the palm, while 11 degrees of freedom, including the thumb, use two drive units each for controlling bending and lateral shaking respectively, with the fingers within the palm being driven by a single servo each. These servos utilize screw-like worm gear mechanisms similar to linear servos in the legs and arms, employing self-locking mechanisms to reduce energy consumption. This has helped enhance the reliability and flexibility of Optimus's entire arm. This flexibility is crucial to seamlessly connect to the severed segments of human limbs, with improved weight, low production costs, and balance on the human body, all of which are highly beneficial for patients. Tesla's Optimus once again affirms a common trend where future developments in core robotic components are undoubtedly headed towards compact size, high energy density, low cost, and mass production capability. Ultimately, what Tesla's aiming for is not a superhero like Iron Man, but a practical robot capable of replacing mundane manual labor. Considering energy density, space efficiency, and cost, using electric drive units for core components is a natural choice. Perhaps Tesla's Optimus is not the dreamlike creation many imagine, but beyond its own business value, humanoid robots simultaneously showcase advanced technology that will surely extend beyond the realm of robotics, revolutionizing our means of production or even lifestyle. How will Neuralink control Optimus's replacement limbs? Neuralink is perhaps the most promising answer, aiming to provide paralyzed individuals with the ability to control devices solely through their thoughts. And by early 2024, the chip known as the brain-computer interface has been implanted in the human brains with promising initial results. The chip, about the size of a 50-cent coin, is equipped with 1,000 electrodes. As mentioned, we're still in a stage where thoughts, commands, or intentions are not yet directly transmitted to artificial intelligence. Simply put, electrical signals are recorded and used to activate machinery. This is the first stage of a project that, when completed, will allow you to control machines with your mind. When a person wants to perform an action, the brain generates electrical signals, which are transmitted from the cerebral cortex through the brainstem, spinal cord, and to the motor nerves. These signals then stimulate contraction to produce movement. Everything is sent to the central organ of the brain to report the next position where the hand or foot will continue to make contact. For the robot arm or leg of Optimus when connected to previously severed nerve endings, it will continue to perform tasks that patients have not used for a long time. The Neuralink neural interface can now detect desired movements from the brain and then reproduce these movements on the other side of the severed nerve point or simply send them to parts of the robot if the original hardware is also missing. Although this method has been applied for a long time, everything still requires a lead wire connected to the brain and then transmitted to the limbs, or connected to a computer device to generate speech. The way Neuralink connects to the intricate brain is to the extent that the connecting fibers are the size of a thread and only require a separate robot to connect it to the brain. However, the time to complete this task is only about 30 minutes. During surgery, the robot cuts a very small piece of the skull the size of a coin then places the Neuralink chip on the surface of the brain and replaces the skull and then stitches the incision. The connecting fibers will receive signals directly from the brain and transmit signals to the arm or leg, similarly to controlling a mouse cursor on a computer screen. 
When we provide any information from the outside, the chip will convert binary code into electrical signals and send them to nerve cells. This chip serves as a very good purpose of curing major diseases and ultimately ensuring the future of humanity as a civilization related to AI. The chip interface is wireless. You don't have wires sticking out of your head, so basically it's like Bluetooth on your phone. When it comes to phones, a factor that makes them useful is the ability to recharge. Okay. If a patient's fitted with additional limbs of Optimus and simultaneously implanted with a Neuralink brain chip, then they have to charge two devices at the same time for them to function fully in parallel. Firstly, Elon stated that the technology in this device greatly benefits from advances in the mobile phone industry. In this case, wireless charging seems to still be prevalent in most newer phone models. Users can recharge them while sleeping at night or during rest breaks at noon. No one said he had to wait for the Neuralink device to recharge before he could use it, so the estimated time that Neuralink can be used is around 8 hours. For the limbs, depending on whether they're arms or legs, they can be equipped with batteries suitable for the body's size and weight. The Tesla bot is capable of operating continuously for a day, so its limbs are designed to function continuously during that time. Furthermore, patients can recharge them whenever needed, similar to a mobile phone but with more flexible charging capabilities than Neuralink. Neuralink's approach to charging its brain implants deviates from the rapid charging seen in smartphones due to the risk of overheating the delicate chip nestled within the brain. Consequently, the charging process for Neuralink devices necessitates a longer duration to ensure safety. In a recent development, the company disclosed its intention to expand its volunteer pool for brain chip implants as part of its ambitious agenda for 2024, which entails conducting 11 implant surgeries. This figure is projected to surge in the subsequent years, with approximately 80 patients anticipated in both 2025 and 2026. Despite these strides towards the cutting edge of technology, Neuralink grapples with lingering challenges that demand resolution. Anyway, what do you think about Elon's insane idea? Many people believe that the way humanoid robots move nowadays look like they've just had 20 shots of tequila, or worse, like someone being wobbly after hearing they didn't win the presidential election. However, what do you think about a humanoid robot moving at a speed of 7.38 miles an hour or 3.3 meters a second? A speed that must be acknowledged as comparable to humans. It set a world record for the fastest robot and is rumored to be a nightmare for Tesla's robot. Unitree H1 Robot 150,000. That's what we want to mention in today's episode. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing that bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. In fact, when it comes to competitors in Tesla's humanoid robot field, the list is extensive. However, if we were to highlight one robot with superior specifications compared to Tesla's Optimus, Unitree H1 from China is getting lots of attention. It's expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring it so, directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. The anticipated selling price of the Tesla bot is always an advantage, confidently securing customer preference as $20,000 is not a significant amount to make many people hesitate. However, when it comes to Unitree H1, it's a different story. Yeah, $150,000, the selling price set by the manufacturer. Yes, that is quite expensive. It's more expensive than two Model X cars combined and may lead many of us to reconsider adding it to our shopping carts. Previously, when discussing the price of Optimus, Elon Musk mentioned that their robot would be cheaper than a car produced in millions every year. This, this is, Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in, in very high volume, probably ultimately millions of units, um, and it, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. While Unitree has been commercialized and is set for early delivery this year, on Tesla's end, Musk has stated that Optimus is still in the development phase to achieve maximum utility, with few deliveries expected in 2025. For a robot priced at $150,000, it must undoubtedly feature superior technologies worthy of the price, at least holding the title of the fastest humanoid robot in the world. So, what makes Unitree H1 confident that it'll overwhelm the Tesla bot? Similar to the Tesla bot, Unitree H1 is designed with various applications in mind, including research and development, education, and service industries. Speaking of its size, as you can see, it truly looks quite simple from design to appearance, all wrapped in a mysterious black color that makes everyone eager to explore. 
We're not sure if humanoid robot manufacturers adhere to any specific size standards, but the truth is, from Atlas Boston Dynamics, TeslaBot, Kepler Forerunner, and Unitree, they all fall within 5 feet 10 inch range, a size that brings efficiency and resembling human stature the most. Not stopping there, to achieve the ability to walk at a speed of 3.3 meters a second, part of it seems to rely on the impressive weight of the Unitree H1, compared to the 103 pounds. Looking at the simplicity of this humanoid robot, surely the manufacturer must have focused quite a bit on the material and weight of the machinery inside it. You can simply focus on its head, which is an interesting hollow head. Of course, 103 pounds is significantly lighter than the current 138 pounds of Tesla's bot, and its speed also surpasses considerably the 0.6 meters per second of Optimus. Optimus only has two degrees of freedom in its feet for balance. Unitree H1 has the advantage of being both light and tall, designed to maintain a stable standing posture, even in situations requiring enduring strong shocks at fixed points. It remains stable even when it's kicked. The special thing is based on a maximum torque of up to 360 Nm at the knee, hip torque of 220 Nm, so this robot can confidently move and operate on difficult terrain and in complex environments. Detailed information about the number of degrees of freedom in the leg section has also been revealed. There's a total of five degrees of freedom, including three at the hip, one at the knee, and one at the ankle. This indicates the flexibility and adaptability of the robot across various terrains and in many different situations. The Unitree H1 not only demonstrates unprecedented walking speed, but also showcases advanced whole body coordination by dancing, climbing up and down stairs effortlessly, as well as doing high jumps comparable to those of a man standing next to it. All these possibilities raise concerns that there will be a big gap between the two robot technologies. Is this true? Alongside its sturdy, stable design, high flexibility, and superior mobility, the H1 excels in adapting to various complex environments and terrains. At first glance, it may seem incredibly impressive enough to leave the Optimus robot behind, but in reality, both the Unitree H1 and the Tesla bot boast equally efficient performance metrics without significant differences, with Tesla Optimus even slightly edging out. Firstly, it's quite puzzling to learn that the Unitree H1 only has 864 watt-hour battery pack and a maximum voltage of 67.2 volts. With such a battery size, the robot will operate for a shorter period, approximately around 5 hours or less, due to Unitree's relatively fast walking speed, which consumes more energy. For modern industrial robot products, this seems lower than the prevailing standard. Typically, robots designed for continuous operation over long periods are equipped with more robust battery systems, especially in applications that require a continuous operation like in industrial environments. At TeslaBot, the initial prototype was confirmed to come equipped with a 52-volt, 2.3-kilowatt-hour battery pack with integrated electronic devices for cooling and energy management, located in the chest area of the body. With the Gen 2 update, Tesla engineers have been able to upgrade to a higher-capacity battery pack in the latest update but they are hesitant to disclose it because they were worried about copying that continues to occur. The standard 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack allows Optimus to operate continuously throughout the day or somewhere around 20 hours depending on the usage scenario. As you know, battery technology has always been a strong point for Tesla. However, the choice of Unitree H1 may have a different strategy. They may be focusing on optimizing energy efficiency, such as using advanced technologies to optimize power usage from available battery packs. This can help reduce the weight and size of the robot, making it more flexible in real-world applications. Another theory could be that the Unitree H1 is designed to operate in specific environments and should be recharged regularly. In this case, a battery pack with a larger capacity may not be necessary and may increase both the size and cost of the robot with no obvious benefit. What do you think about the battery packs of both the Unitree H1 and Tesla's Optimus? Next, let's talk about how these humanoid robots perceive their environments. The Unitree H1 vision system achieves incredible performance by combining a depth camera and 3D LiDAR Plus technology. This integration allows the robot to collect highly accurate spatial data in real time, creating a 360-degree panoramic scanning of the environment. Not only does it help the Unitree H1 recognize and avoid obstacles while moving, but it also gives it incredible depth perception of its surroundings. Meanwhile, the Tesla bot is equally impressive with similar observation tools as Tesla cars. With eight autopilot cameras integrated into its head, or often referred to as its eyes, the robot sends vision data about the surrounding world to its onboard computer brain for real-time analysis. In the head section, there also exist three separate CMOS sensors facilitating visual navigation through volumetric debt rendering. 
The Tesla bot has the ability to sense and react to its surrounding environment automatically and accurately. The most recent video of Optimus moving around the factory has clearly demonstrated this capability. It's worth noting the presence of an interactive display on the face, aiding the robot in effective communication and information display. This screen plays a crucial role not only in conveying information but also in interacting with users, potentially replacing or supplementing voice communication. Tesla will soon introduce this feature. What is special about the hand manipulation of two robots? The Unitree robot is designed with a unique structure, especially in its hand portion. Initially, it appears similar to the hand of Boston Dynamics' Atlas, with some variant options lacking fingers for convenience in certain tasks. However, when needed for grasping and carrying objects, this hand automatically equips additional flexible fingers. A clear sample is in the introductory video, where you can see the Unitree robot transporting a basket of items and placing it on a table flexibly and swiftly. As far as we know, Unitree has integrated four degrees of freedom for this robot's hand portion. However, it can be observed that these four degrees of freedom may be limiting for performing more delicate tasks that require higher flexibility. The Tesla bot features a structure with 28 drive units and a joint system that mimics biological movements, mechanically similar to human joints. The Gen 2 upgrade allows it to have up to 11 degrees of freedom to execute complex and flexible motions similar to human arms. You can see it making progress in tasks such as holding slippery objects like eggs or skillfully folding a garment. Optimus's carrying capacity allows it to lift up to 45 pounds. On the other hand, the 11 degrees of freedom can allow the robot to perform a variety of tasks, including holding and moving objects and performing simple assembly tasks. How outstanding about the AI systems of these two robots? Every robot manufacturer integrates special technologies in their products, with a chip system playing a crucial role, determining the overall performance of the robot. Recently, Unitree announced that they're using the Intel Core i7-1265U processing chip for their robot line, one of the leading chips on the market today. This processing chip is evaluated with a high-performance score of up to 13,824, surpassing previous U-series chip versions. This superiority can be easily understood when considering the chip's architecture, with up to 10 cores and 12 threads, providing powerful processing capabilities. Using this chip, Unitree's robots will become more powerful and flexible than ever in processing information, planning and decision-making, as well as executing movements accurately and efficiently. The flexibility and high performance of the Intel Core i7-1265U chip will help this robot easily adapt to diverse work environments and perform a complex task effectively. However, the TDP of the Intel Core i7-1265U reaches up to 15 watts, a relatively high figure compared to the limited power available in the 864 watt hour battery pack of the Unitree robot. This leads to a relatively high power consumption and also contributes to the relatively high price tag for this chip, a factor contributing to that $150,000 price point. What's special about Optimus is the integration of Tesla's SOC AI chip connected to the Dojo supercomputer, unlocking powerful data processing capabilities through Tesla's proprietary artificial intelligence system along with the FSD processor. This is precisely what many consider to be a pinnacle technological achievement of Tesla. Designed and manufactured exclusively by Tesla, this chip is not only the heart but also the brain of Optimus providing superior capabilities not only in data processing, but also in control, connectivity, and security. Of course, regarding the principles and specific specifications of this chip, Elon Musk cannot disclose detailed information about this technology due to concerns about theft. With its high processing capabilities, the Tesla SOC chip is the dynamic intelligence of Optimus. From the data collected from cameras and radar, this chip helps the robot recognize and understand its surrounding environment. Its quick and accurate computations enable Optimus to react and adapt to the environment in real time, enhancing performance and safety during operations. Not just an ordinary processor, the Tesla SoC chip also serves as the central control hub of Optimus. From adjusting movements to executing complex tasks, this chip ensures that every operation of the robot runs smoothly and efficiently. With integrated Wi-Fi and LTE connectivity capabilities, the Tesla SoC chip allows Optimus to access the internet and interact with online data sources. This opens up a world of information and learning opportunities for the robot, from updating to the latest information to interacting with users through online applications and services. Particularly, the security of this chip is also given top priority. 
With deeply integrated security features, the Tesla SOC chip ensures that Optimus is always safe from threats such as unauthorized access and network attacks, keeping the robot's data and operations securely protected. In addition to the Tesla SOC chip, Optimus also utilizes a range of other chips to perform specific functions. From image processing chips for cameras to motor control chips, each component is optimized to ensure the robot's maximum performance and operational capabilities in every situation. This makes Optimus one of the smartest and most flexible robots out there, with the ability to adapt and react strongly to every situation. Unitree Robotics entered the field of robot development in 2016, embarking on a long and challenging journey. From deep research to practical testing and development, they've accumulated a valuable wealth of experience in this industry. In the relentless race of the humanoid robot industry, continuous improvements and advancements are undeniable. Unitree Robotics breaking the world record for speed is a significant step, demonstrating the innovation and relentless efforts of technology developers. Meanwhile, Tesla, a giant in the electric vehicle industry, has only recently begun to venture into the field of robotics in the last two years. Despite holding strong technological foundations from previous projects, they're facing unique challenges as they transition from car manufacturing to robot development. During this time, Tesla's diligently ramping up the final steps with its robot. They have a series of clear objectives, from autonomous capabilities to human interaction, to ensure that their product not only achieves technological advancement, but also meets the needs and desires of the market. The race for humanoid robots is about to kick off as Tesla is currently seeking a technical service writer to create user manuals for their humanoid robot Optimus. The company seems to be making significant progress on the Tesla robot, and pre-order registrations may likely start by the end of the year. Tesla actively seeking technical service writers to create user guides for the Optimus robot is an extremely positive signal, indicating that the time when we see this robot on the market is not far off. The technical writer position also suggests that the opening of the registration program for Tesla Optimus is likely approaching. Last week, Tesla posted new job openings, introducing real-world tests for Optimus at various gigafactories. Currently, Tesla is researching its own private 5G infrastructure to connect its electric vehicles and Optimus robots. The 5G network provides much lower latency, under 5 milliseconds, compared to the 4G network, which ranges from 60 to 98 milliseconds. This speed allows Optimus to receive information faster and smoother in many tasks. A company has declared that 14% of manufacturing and automotive jobs will be automated within the next four years, and Goldman Sachs predicts that the humanoid robot could hit $38 billion by 2035, at least if robots like Optimus can become as capable as their manufacturers assert they'll be. The Tesla Optimus robot and the Unitree H1 are playing crucial roles in the global technological revolution, not only for their ability to optimize production processes, but also for their aim to create a safe and efficient working environment. Integrated with artificial intelligence and robotics, these robots not only help reduce labor-intensive tasks, but also can perform dangerous and complex missions that humans either cannot do or don't want to undertake, such as labor in nuclear plants or military environments. The application of these technologies not only enhances productivity, but also brings significant benefits to society, from reducing workplace accidents to cutting production costs. The Tesla Optimus robot and Unitree H1 are not just symbols of the technological advancement, but also evidence of the sustainable development and social consciousness of leading technology companies. What do you think about the battle of Optimus Robot and Unitree H1 Robot, and how do you feel about the benefits they can do? We appreciate your contributions. If you want to see more analysis videos about Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus, check out our other videos on Tesla's Car World channel. This is actually not going to be uh, crazy high, like less than a car. Not $150,000 like the Unitree H1, not $75,000 like Boston Dynamics Robot Dog, Tesla Optimus, as declared by Elon Musk, is priced at less than half the cost of a car, which completely shocks you when a fantastic technology like Tesla equipped with AI and full self-driving is expected to come at such a price. How will this explode the robotics industry in the future? Considering Tesla's most popular model today, the Model Y, with a starting price of $43,990 and the Model 3 priced at $38,990 in the United States, Musk seems to be implying a price range below $20,000 to $25,000 US dollars for Optimus. This crucial point is that it will gradually decrease over time as Tesla achieves significant manufacturing milestones. Initially, everything will be costly as this is a new technology with low production volumes. 
The complexity and cost of a humanoid robot are greater than that of a car. Therefore, it is expected to be lower than a car, or at least equivalent to a highly anticipated Model 2 Redwood. This means that the production cost of the Optimus robot could be around 14 to 15,000 US dollars. This is just an estimate based on Tesla's electric vehicle manufacturing process. Production costs may increase over time based on inflationary trends, and you know, inflation won't stop. That's a law. To be honest, that's what we believe would be the approximate cost to produce a complete Optimus. Someday it'll be much cheaper, but Tesla needs to mass produce them to achieve their plans and cater to user demand. The number could reach 10 to 20 billion units at a price of 20,000 US dollars each because people might buy them as gifts for loved ones. Musk also stated that humanoid robots will constitute a significant long-term value for Tesla and will be present in every household in the future to perform production and service tasks. You know, Tesla once claimed that they could bring out each Tesla Model Y from the production line in just under 35 seconds to achieve over 2 million units in sales. This means the Tesla bot, being much smaller than an electric car, could assemble even faster. You can imagine that within 15 seconds, an automated humanoid robot could step out of the production area, immediately enter the manufacturing zone to perform tasks, or even step into a Model 2 before being delivered to the customer. So, even if it starts at 50,000 US dollars within a few years, it could decrease to 20,000 US dollars or even lower, especially for rental purposes, where it could be much cheaper. However, let's consider the economics of this. If you can replace a worker costing 30,000 US dollars, 40,000 US dollars per year that you have to pay annually with a one time payment of 25,000 US dollars for a robot that can work longer hours, it's a relatively quick replacement for certain types of jobs. The robotics industry is becoming increasingly crowded with various types and technologies being applied, leaving us wondering what will be the thing to own in the future when they reach the pinnacle of technology. Even Boston Dynamics has plans to bring Atlas back into the game after a long hiatus, and they have the four-legged spot dog robot being sold at an attractive price of $75,000. So humanoid robots like Atlas would likely cost around 150,000 US dollars. Furthermore, we can see that Unitree H1, China's new humanoid robot, is asserting its position in the market. But the price tag of $150,000 seems to be out of reach for everyone. Moreover, developers have not yet been able to achieve human-like flexibility in the hands, which raises doubts about the benefits of these expensive humanoid robots. In particular, releasing an affordable robot model with Tesla's excellent AI technology and existing self-driving system would give users a sense of coherence in the product they are using. It wouldn't just be a regular product, but an ecosystem similar to how Apple revolutionized the smartphone industry with the first iPhone. You could immediately look at the phone you're using, a high-security MacBook, an Apple Watch, or the latest Apple Vision, all stemming from the first phone the ecosystem where you can securely and quickly share information and sensitive data. What new updates does Tesla Optimus have in 2024? Tesla is indeed planning to research its own 5G infrastructure to connect its electric vehicles and Optimus robots. This car manufacturer has early on integrated internet connectivity into all its vehicles. There are numerous reasons for this. It allows for software updates and wireless connectivity features while enabling Tesla to collect vast amounts of data. Tesla initially began with 3G connectivity and later upgraded to 4G LTE. However, now we know that this car manufacturer is looking to upgrade to 5G. Why does the Tesla bot need this mobile network connection? This seems to implicitly reveal that Tesla's plans extend beyond just within the factory as initially reported. It's possible that Tesla intends to deploy its own network within manufacturing facilities to maintain connectivity within its products, vehicles, and Optimus robot. However, if the products are capable of connecting to a 5G network, it can be assumed that they could also connect to public networks. The 5G network provides significantly lower latency, under 5 milliseconds, compared to the 4G network, which ranges from 60 to 98 milliseconds. Meanwhile, Wi-Fi offers a latency of one millisecond. In fact, the artificial intelligence controlling Optimus will be stored remotely, so you need the lowest possible latency. 
Currently, robots are controlled by AI or AI-assisted autonomous driving models based on local CPUs. But in the future, they'll use larger computers. Therefore, you'll need a larger local computer to deploy a humanoid robot workforce on the factory floor. To deploy them outside the factory floor, Optimus needs 5G connectivity and a massive AI deployment to control them worldwide. Although Tesla already has its own 5G infrastructure, it doesn't necessarily mean it's mentioned at Tesla's facilities. Through a private Starlink network stream, it provides global coverage for Tesla's vehicles and robots without relying on third-party intermediaries like T-Mobile. And we see this as a broader choice to build a network between vehicles on the road. There's no need for mobile towers if the vehicles themselves become mobile relays. Tesla might save a lot on connectivity by bypassing traditional providers and only using them when Optimus moves beyond the range of Wi-Fi. How does Tesla provide power to Tesla Optimus? Tesla plans to use its 4680 cells to power the Optimus robot, although many believe that this design may not be the most efficient for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to contain 4680 cells, it may need a significant number of new cells to achieve the necessary voltage. Assuming Optimus will use a 48-volt electrical system, it will require about 12 cells connected in series to reach this voltage using NCM chemistry. Tesla could use a higher voltage to make Optimus operate more efficiently, but 48 volts is not an arbitrary value. It is a threshold at which electricity becomes dangerous to humans, so Tesla would not want anything higher. Even at 48 volts, Optimus's battery pack will need some kind of redundancy in case some cells fail. Ideally, it should have multiple 48-volt modules connected in parallel to increase power output and redundancy. Tesla states that Optimus's battery will have a capacity of 2.3 kilowatts. Assuming the estimated 26AH capacity of the 4680 cells, it'll need two parallel connected 48-volt modules to achieve a 2.3 kilowatt hour capacity. Using 2170 cells with about 5 AH would require 10 modules or 5 times as many cells. This would make the system more flexible and easier to manage thermals but would increase costs. This is why Tesla might prefer to use larger cells, especially when they can manufacture them in large quantities at the Giga Nevada facility. Additionally, it's not surprising that Tesla is considering using lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries for its next generation Tesla bot. LFP cells are about one-third cheaper than NMC cells, but have lower energy density. However, the latest advancements in LFP technology have improved these cells to the point where they can compete more effectively with nickel-based cells. Cattle is a leading company in LFP cell manufacturing, and Tesla's been collaborating with them. However, recent reports suggest that Tesla is betting on cattle to supply LFP batteries for its $25,000 car model. This could potentially extend to Optimus as well, as using fewer batteries alleviates concerns about supply shortages for the robot manufacturer. Previous reports indicated that Tesla aims to expand its battery production facility in Sparks, Nevada, using idle equipment from cattle. With a production capacity of less than 10 gigawatts per year, this energy source may be used for research purposes. Additionally, a recent Bloomberg article pointed out that Cattle and Tesla will also collaborate to improve the chemical properties of LFP, particularly enabling faster charging and higher energy density. For Optimus to be truly useful as a factory assembly line robot, it needs enough battery capacity to sustain an entire 8-hour shift of continuous work, or so one might think without considering human rest periods during work hours. With fast charging capabilities, Optimus would only need around 15 to 20 minutes of charging to have enough energy for the next period, and you could always have a spare Optimus ready to replace one in position when needed. Why don't you need to worry about Optimus? I wouldn't worry about the, the sort of putting people out of a job thing. Um, I think we're actually going to have, and, and already do have, a massive shortage of labor. At the peak of the pandemic, over 120,000 businesses temporarily closed and over 30 million workers in the United States became unemployed. Since then, job opportunities have steadily increased, while the unemployment rate has been gradually decreasing. In 2022, recruiters created an additional 4.5 million jobs, unprecedented in history. A robust job market is good news, but many job opportunities remain unfulfilled because the United States lacks sufficient labor to fill them. 
Although we now have more Americans participating in the workforce than before the pandemic, the overall labor force participation rate has decreased. If current labor force participation rate were the same as in Feb 2020, we would have an additional 2 million Americans in our workforce to help fill those vacant jobs. Companies worldwide constantly face a persistent challenge. A global labor shortage is underway. In fact, two-thirds of global leaders have experienced labor shortages in the last 12 months. And with the emergence of breakthrough technologies like AI in the workforce, finding people with the right skills for the future becomes more challenging than ever. We can envision a range of goods and services that currently may not be profitable but could be realized in that world thanks to a legion of robots. Until now, artificial intelligence is enabling us to imagine a distinctively supported economy that would create this abundance. Well, AI and robots are poised to usher in what could be called the era of surplus. And the danger will be artificial general intelligence or digital superintelligence diverging from the collective will of humanity and going in directions that for whatever reason we don't like. In fact, that's the idea behind Neuralink, an attempt to more closely integrate the collective human world with the digital superintelligence. And along the way, it also addresses a lot of brain and spinal cord injuries and the like. So even if it doesn't achieve its larger goal, I think it'll succeed in reducing brain and spinal cord injuries. So the idea is if we're going to create these extremely intelligent AI robots, we have to directly interface with them so that we ourselves can have those superpowers more directly. But that seems to not avoid the risk that those superpowers might turn out to be ugly in ways that we don't intend. Perhaps one of the good things to ensure that the future is one we desire to more closely integrate the human world with digital intelligence. The issue we face here is that we're already becoming cyborgs, if you think about it. Computers are an extension of ourselves, and when we die, we're like a digital ghost. You know, all our messages, social media, and emails. And it's really quite strange that when someone dies, everything online still remains. Finally, what impedes the symbiosis between humans and machines? It's the speed of data. When you communicate, especially over the phone, your thumb moves very slowly, so you're essentially moving your two little sticks at a rate that might be 10 bits per second. Optimistically, 100 bits per second. And computers are communicating at the gigabyte level and beyond. To convince someone to buy a human-sized robot walking on two legs and theoretically capable of carrying an adult, you'd have to sell the idea of friendliness. Musk says it's designed for you to be able to run away from it and control it. What's important for robots is to have a localized chip that can't be updated remotely, and to be careful to ensure that this doesn't become a dystopian scenario like in sci-fi movies. He wants it to obey anyone who requests it to stop anything it's doing. What potential does Optimus have for Tesla and humanity in the future? The primary reason companies are developing humanoid robots is not to satisfy some wild sci-fi imagination. It's because human-like features allow them to replace humans in a world built for them. This makes humanoid robots ideal for carrying out repetitive, mundane, or hazardous tasks. They can also ensure a consistent job quality as they're not affected by fatigue, illness, or simply having a bad day. This is why robots are primarily seen as problem solvers, addressing labor shortages and other issues. Robots can work in any condition and can perform tasks that humans typically avoid. They also significantly increase productivity, incentivizing companies to use more robots instead of humans. Robots have many advantages over humans. They're more reliable, work harder, and ultimately, are cheaper. Robots don't need health care. They don't go on strike. They don't require retirement benefits. They don't take vacations and are quite happy to work nearly continuously, saving time for recharging breaks. Even for households, robots can assist in caring for the elderly and disabled while providing companionship and support for the lonely. Elon Musk believes that Optimus has the potential to become more important than Tesla's vehicle business. This is not much different from what he said about Tesla's fully self-driving program. The latter is much more important because the Optimus program also depends on it. That's why Musk openly states that it could make or break Tesla. Without FSD, Optimus would just be a shiny metal toy with little value. The potential of Optimus is not just a regular commercial product. It opens the door to an incredibly promising future for Tesla and the world. Using the Optimus robot in Tesla's production line is just a small part of the automation revolution they're pioneering. From mining to agriculture, from delivery services to healthcare, there's no industry that cannot be improved and optimized 
by the presence of intelligence robots like Optimus. With learning and adaptive capabilities, Optimus can complete various tasks that previously only humans could do. They not only perform tasks more efficiently and accurately, but also can work continuously without needing breaks. This not only brings cost savings, but also creates a safer working environment for humans. How do you feel about these latest updates of Tesla's Optimus, and what are your expectations for its future improvements? We appreciate your thoughts down in the comments below. Hopefully, you have the most relaxing feeling after watching our video. Hit that like button and join your Tesla Car World family by subscribing to the channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Thank you.